Okay, I'm going to take the project I did in another tutorial and prep it for sewing. And as you can see, I have saved and named the file as A-Line Project. And so I've got this little A-Line top and I'm getting ready to create my sewing pattern. So I'm going to need hems. So I'm going to click on the bottom of the top and go to the additions menu and say add hem. And I can name it if I like, but I'll just keep it simple for now. And I think I'm just going to use a two inch hem and click OK. I will click on my sleeve, same thing, addition, add hem, and I'll make my sleeve be 1.5 inches and click OK. If I want a facing, I'm going to click on the neckline. I'll hold the shift key and get the back neckline at the same time and ask it to add a facing and I'll let it be the standard size. And all that's left now is seam allowances. So I'm going to go and first I'll ask for global seam allowances and set them at a half inch. I'll click in the center sleeve and press J to join it so that I have a one pattern piece sleeve. And now I want to remind myself to cut the front and back on the fold. So I'm going to click on the center and notice how the back selected as well. It's because of our function called symmetry. I will go in and do a custom seam allowance and set this to be zero. And that removes the seam allowance from there. All that's left now is for me to show the final pattern because when I do that I'll get my notches. At this point I usually print out a schematic for my records. Then I like to turn on the grid and then I will scale to actual size and I then will show print preview and I probably should turn my dimensions off. And now I can see exactly how many pages it's going to take to print this pattern. They will tile at my printer and then I will tape them together and I've got my pattern. Okay, if we want to see how much fabric this project is going to take, let's go. I'm going to use a few keyboard shortcuts here to get myself back to the point where I've got my pattern. All I need to do is I can go up to generate and ask for pattern layout and then I can bring my screen up here where I can see it and basically by dragging your pattern pieces around you're able to plan your fabric layout so let me make this window bigger here so we can see it set it up here and you can use keyboard shortcuts like X Y and Z I'm going to uh, turn this upside down by pressing Y just like playing with cookies and a cookie cutter and slide my sleeve up here what this is telling me right now, I'd have to double this width. I'd need like 48, 49 inch width fabric to with this layout, and then I would need 1.27 yards. If I'm going to press Z and turn the sleeve sideways and drag it down here and see if I can get away with less, um, it's still the same width, and now I need 1.12 yards. So that's about as much fabric as I would need if I choose to do this layout, and I would have to plan for my facing pieces accordingly.